James, many congratulations. Through to yet another quarter final yeah. at the World Grand Prix. How would you assess your performance tonight? Oh, it's average, wasn't it? Um, it, it was good enough. Um, there was enough opportunities that were given to me. And um, yeah, it's magical. So um, really happy. And um, yeah, I, I'm really happy. And what more can I say? And playing a really good friend in Geddy, did that make it extra difficult up there? Oh, it's awful. I don't want to play him, do I? You know, I want to smash everyone else to bits. I don't want to play play Gezi. Um He's the nicest bloke in darts, in my opinion. Um, him, Johnny Clayton, you know, um, pretty crap to play a friend. And um, yeah, the last time I did something like that um, was probably uh, Adrian Lewis. Um, so yeah, not 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 very nice, and it's not not um, not up there with my. Um, Favourite things to do. You mentioned there, he's quite fired up, Gezi, in the early stages. Are you feeding <laughs> off that energy as well? No, no. It was a bit of false, false, um, bit of false what he was doing. And I, I know Gezi well enough to know that um, it wasn't really the Gezi. If it was the real Gezi, he would have, he would have smashed you 3 0 and um, probably beat me like 9 um, 2 or something like that in, in legs. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, happy. Um, as I say, I'm, I'm I'm really lucky to be really close to Gezi. Um, my son constantly goes on about going to um, Gezi's fish and chip shop and um, staying at his house and going to his swimming pool because Gezi's done like um, marvelously well. And um, I, I think as long as Gezi will invite me, still, um, you know, I'm going to take Arthur Bear and um, Alfred, um, take them to his house, and um, we'll have some fun. You mentioned after beating Peter Wright, you're really enjoying the game again. Is that mentality having a really positive... No, I didn't enjoy game? that. I didn't enjoy that. You don't. Enjoy, I enjoy playing and beating Peter because he's not as close to me, you know. Um, but that that was not a nice feeling playing um, Gezi and it's, you know, that, that's not that's not fun, you know. And, and and it shouldn't be fun, you know. You know when you when you when you sorry when you play a friend and when you beat a friend, that shouldn't be fun. You know, is it rewarding financially? Yeah, hundred percent. But if if you like that and you enjoy that, you're a little bit weird. And I'm very weird, but I'm not that weird. <laughs> and up against Mark De Becker appearing yeah. in the first T V quarter yeah. final, how much of a factor could that experience be in your favour? I couldn't really care about him to be fair. Um he's a lovely kid. Um he's do you, do you know one thing about him, he's got a very, very strong characteristic and he's a strong character characteristic and strong uh, and, and that's what he is um, um, he's very confident he's very vibrant he's very new um, but I'm ready for him don't worry about that I'm ready for him Perfect. thank you James cheers thank you James congrats on the win thank um, you there was a leg in that third set I think it took you 10 darts to, to get off which is very uncharacteristic for yourself mm. but it's a leg that you managed to win um, yeah I imagine those legs feel extra good for you and probably hurt Gezi in this situation quite a lot. You've got to use some some phrase to warm up, haven't you? <laughs> no, 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 I was panicking, you know. I was panicking and um, I didn't deal with it as the mo most professional way I should have done. So, you know, but, you know, I, I, I won and, you know, let's let, 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 let not um, sugarcoat things, you know. Gezi is one of the very, very best players in the world that you can play. Yeah. He isn't going through the best stage in the world, don't get me wrong, but... He is one of the very, very best dark players in the world. Yeah, I don't you know? know. And I think we all like sugarcoat it, we all overlook it. I would like to also say, me and Gary Anderson don't get on very well, at times, but what I will say is, you're all missing the biggest trick in the world. I would believe that Luke Humphreys is probably the second or third best world champion we've ever, ever had. You know, we've had world champions, you know, Gary's one of them, we've had Adrian Lewis, we've, we've had lots of them. Luke Humphreys has won almost everything after the world championships and before it. I, I really think that the public and yourselves, sorry, the public, um, it, I believe that yourselves are failing a little bit because we, we've never had a world champion like it. You know, the last world champion we had as good as him, maybe Michael, but before him was Phil Taylor, you know? And I, I, I feel really sorry for Luke 
Luke Humphreys, and it, and it's not. I don't need to do this. I, I could just I could have finished the conversation thirty seconds ago and walked out the door. Luke Humphreys is probably the second or the third best world champion we've ever had, and and you're not embracing it, and you're not going to get someone that's as great as him for a long time. I, I think you need to grab hold of him and you know celebrate it. You know, the things he's doing are like magnificent. You know, I'm not going to rant on like Gary did well not quite as much um, but honestly I I swear like the things he's done and the things he's won you tell me another world champion that's won as much as he has done afterwards tell me and you, you're not embracing it and, and it's quite sad for darts you know if it was um, Olympian gold medalist Luke, Luke Humphreys has won more than any Olympian gold medalist in the last three or four years five years six years and he has and, and, and you're still talking about and it's not a personal vendetta towards um, Littler because cause he, he, he's going to do his bloody own thing you know if he wants to win everything 20 times he's going to do that but you've got someone that's so special and, and, and winning so much and he's so talented and it's so sad that you're not celebrating him my opinion you know Tell me the last world champion that won as many things as he has. There's not been any, mate. There's not been any. So, you know, I, I, I think, you know, I don't want to, don't want to jump on the, the, the Gary Anderson like Moni thing, but um, I, I really think you should celebrate him a lot more, you know, because not for him, not for the press, but for darts. He is something special, you know. He really is something special. So make sure you promote him. <laughs> James, in um, Blackpool, uh, Humphreys uh, mentioned that you were doing a lot of work together and a lot of training yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that still going on? And can you just. No. <laughs> you're not training with him anymore. <laughs> no. I, I'm, any I'm, I'm an old boy, and um, I, I know I can push anyone like him. You know, I, I know I can push him. You know, and the truth be known, if, if Blackpool, the results would have gone a little bit different, you know, it would have been different. But um, no, the. the He's pretty good. He's pretty good. And it's very, very, very rarely that you come along on a generational thing where someone's very special. And he's very special. And um, I believe that the press should be... You, you should be building him up, you know, because he, he, he's bloody good. He's bloody good. You, Because you, I'm not like um, someone... Stop coughing. Um, I'm not someone that, like... Um, I, I don't really care about darts. But... The world champions of the last 10, 15 years, can you tell me any of them that have progressed and dominated and won tournaments pro after that? There's, there's, there's none, you know? You know, Michael, maybe. I actually think what he's doing is um, probably greater than what, what Michael's done in a short space of time. I think well, Michael's like different, different gravy, but... Um, what, what Luke's doing at the moment, it, it, it's magical, you know, and, and we're not grabbing it, you know. Any other sport in the world, we'll grab it and we'll be like, look at this guy, he's amazing. And, and instead, we're publicising other people that aren't quite as amazing. And it's quite sad. Thank you. James, have you personally been inspired by what Luke's achieved? No, not amazing. one little bit. Not one little bit. Not, not one little bit. Um, he's a great kid. Um, I believe every time I play him, I'm going to beat him. Um, he hasn't got the Phil Taylor effect, but um, he's bloody special. He's bloody special, and he's great at what he does. Do you think in the modern game, any one, any one player can go on and dominate the way that Phil Taylor did? No, no. No one will ever be as um, dedicated and as uh, prominent as, as Phil was. Um, yeah, Phil sacrificed everything, you know, and none of us are willing to do that. And... Um, Phil will always be the greatest start player that walked. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Mm, I don't know. And just going back to the game tonight, we know there's a lot of respect between you and Gezi. There was a nice embrace between you at the end there. Can you tell us what Gezi said to you at the end? No. It was some swear words. But it was nice. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 again, Gezi's like, he, he's magic, you know. Um, Gezi, um, yeah, there's a few of them, you know. Um, Adrian Lewis over the years even though he wronged me a little bit 
um, um, th- th- there's a few of them, you know. Johnny Clayton's like magical. Um, yeah, he's one of a few people that are very, very special people in darts, and um, perhaps don't always get like the rubber the green. Um, you know, when I was playing Getty tonight, and the crowd were going, w- what they were saying, you know, doesn't take like. Um, um, a, a great person to, to work out what they were saying, you know. You know, and you think it's putting him off, but I don't want to dig in too deep, but, but that's what you do because it's human nature. And, um, yeah, it's not, not quite fair, you know. Um, I guess he's one of the best art players in the world. He always will be. Um, it doesn't quite always get the, the equal rub of the green. Thank you. James, just one from me. Yeah, you've no been quite open about your health and pancreas over the past year. With everything that you've been through, if you were to lift the trophy on Sunday, would that be the most special trophy you've lifted <laughs> in your dad's <laughs> career? <laughs> no, the most special trophy would be with me, me to retire and spend it with my family and my wife. And, you know, th- this isn't important, you know. I- I'll try as hard as anyone, you know, if not more harder than most people. But the most important thing for me is um, Alfred George Wade. Arthur, Arthur James Wade and um, Samantha, you know, when you get poorly or you, you're not quite right, that you, you realise what, 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 what thing's most important, you know, and, um, you know, my children are the most, most important thing. Um, I, I don't know how many of you have got children. Um, you got children? No. No, see, as soon as you as soon as you have children, you'll realise that these questions are quite nonsensical and they're quite irrelative. Um, but, but it'd be great when you do have children. And I think, anyway, children, children, children. None of you got children. <laughs> four is, leg, four leg children. Yeah, but so, so it's the most cra- What you got? Dogs. Which ones? Oh, um, you know, Bichon Freeze? Yeah, Bichon Freeze. Ones? Yeah, but none of you got children. So it's, it's, a, it's like quite strange because none of you have that. Dave will tell you, like, it, it's the most powerful, most important thing in the world. and. Um, until you have that, you don't understand that. And the last thing you want to be doing is stuck in a German hall or a Dutch hall or an English hall playing darts when you can be at home with your children. Because the most precious thing in the world is, is your children. James. And you will learn. All of you. <laughs> James, huge well done. Well Cheers, done. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.